what do you think about the way Richard has gone about addressing religious dogma in the world? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question, and and one that you know I I did speak with Richard about it in a public setting once. He had just come out with his book, uh, his first uh, the first volume of his memoir. Uh, I think it was called An Appetite for Wonder, and we sat down at the 92nd Street Y, and and we did talk about that to some extent, and um, it was interesting because when I have been at his lectures, his public lectures, perhaps they were early, and that may be the origin of what I'm about to say, but in those days it really felt so strident. His position felt so intransigent. It felt so uh, unwilling to give uh, religion any value whatsoever. And it struck me that, A, I, I don't feel that way personally, but B, it also struck me as a strategically wrong way of going about it. Because if your goal is to transform people's thinking, you have to meet people where they are. And if you're going to take that perspective, the only ones who are at that place are the ones who are already convinced of your position. So it was very hard for me to imagine there being a widespread open arm embrace of the message that Richard was getting across from those who are the very people that he wants to reach. You would think those who are religious. Now, of course, he has examples and will give you know, anecdotes of, of, of people that were religious that heard him or read him and, and, and radically changed. And of course, there are, I'm sure there are examples of that sort. But as a strategic approach, it doesn't strike me as wise. And the interesting thing was at that event, and perhaps in many others, I haven't been following his public appearances in great detail, but he didn't feel to me as strident. He felt much more willing to um, take a stance that wouldn't make a religious person feel like he was looking at them like they were dumb. Right. And to me, that's a that's a much better way of going about it. 